So now I made my way to Hall 11, where we find Dream Chip this year, and they have, I think it's the world's smallest SDI HD camera, and I think they even have a 4K version or something, but they will tell you in just a moment. I'm super excited about their products, and we integrate with them with our RCP. Hello, good morning, Kasper. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome. Yeah. We are in, at IBC uh, 2018. We met the first time at NEB this year. Um, the Scary um, RCP. Uh, we were looking for RCP, working with our small uh, cameras. Is um, yeah, the people are asking having such a camera, but uh, needing RCP control. So the first contact was in in beginning of the year at NEB in April, and today. In uh, September, we have a running RCP with the Scarry, uh, with our cameras and the Scarry RCP, and we're very exciting. We're really happy uh, that this works now with our small cameras. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, um, are these cameras really the world's smallest? Uh, did I just say that because I? Uh, we, we haven't seen anything smaller, but um, to, 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 to be clear, we, we even made it smaller. So, uh, es especially for hidden camera Whoa. shows, uh, uh, we, we, we shrink that uh, little baby a little bit. Um, Look at that. To make it, um, yeah, even for hidden camera shows, you can put it in the back, you can mount it into walls, and you still have a broadcastable live image quality and full control on the image pipeline. Our Very software cool. comes for free, so, but. What you need is the RCP from Scaro and yeah, drive our cameras. So quickly, you, so you make these, the Atom 1 Mini, we have those at our booth as well, and then exactly. you have the, the Atom 1. What do I get in that camera over the others? Um, the, the Atom 1 Mini has a rolling shutter because of size. Uh, here we have a, a global shutter, uh, HD, supporting all the SAMT output formats in interlaced and progressive. Uh, this one is gen lockable, this one not because of the size and the connectors, so we really had to shrink that. So customers that using that um, do not have really the need in gen lock. The Atom one with the global shutter can also uh, put out RAW directly from the sensor, so you can take it uh, into post and do all the color processing later on. Wow. And I was so um, careless to mention 4K when I introduced you. Yeah. Was that uh, no? That's for real? true. So we have uh, we have uh, free versions uh, of uh, 4K cameras supporting also all interlaced and progressive up to 4K P60. Um, two come with a rolling shutter. This is the global shutter one with a true one-inch sensor uh, with 12-bit HDR and 72 dB dynamic range. So this is really great for low-light uh, conditions. Fantastic. Yes, and the Skyhoy RCP will support all the parameters that you find in these cameras. Here you really see how it's super cool that the, the, the universal RCP without any labels, any fixed function of any button can be mapped to exactly the stuff that goes on inside these nice little cameras. Exactly the same way you have it with other um, camera brands out there that we can integrate tightly with the parameters that's available in them. Do you have any spe uh, special camera? Uh, now we can see red, uh, green and blue gain. That's kind of, um, uh, you know, expected. But I think if we if we press some of these buttons, we access other things. Do you have any any special parameter that we can... Uh... Uh, no, we're, we're just having the RCPs here so people can uh, play around with it. So we are not the, the broadcaster, so to say, that can... Uh, uh, play really on, on, on the image, so we, we're getting better in tuning our own image, but uh, when you have the real camera guys coming here, so uh, with the RCPs you see here, they tune our cameras within one to two minutes to a perfect picture, so uh, incredible, but these uh, guys have really learned how to do that, um, yeah. Thank you very much, have a good show. Thank you, Casper.